Hey there with AgriSpray Drones. We're gonna show you the difference in return to home methods on the T40 with just GNSS and RTK. Um, you know, with the T40, a lot of people might wanna use RTK because of the mapping abilities that it has um, that other drones don't have. Uh, but a lot of people might, might use GNSS or you might actually go back and forth. So if you're doing that, going back and forth, it's important you understand how the drone actually returns to home and the landing sequence with both of those. So we're gonna show you what that looks like right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the drone off, fly it out there a bit, and then just do a return to home sequence and show what that looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold down return to home. This will be the same if it returns home automatically when it's done spraying or if you hit return to home, same sequence. So it's flying back automatically. It's gonna to get to the home point. It's gonna turn and face the direction that it took off. Then it's gonna point the camera straight down. There you go. This is on GNSS. On GNSS, it will ask you auto or manual landing. Now, it may want to land itself, but it will not allow it, especially on the new software. The new software will not allow it to land by itself. So we're just gonna go ahead and push the stick down. There you go. I just tapped that stick down once. I tapped the stick down once and it came down automatically landed. I'm gonna show you that again in GNSS mode. I'm gonna show you how to cancel that automatic landing. All right. We have our return to home sequence initiated. Drone's flying back to us. Turning and facing the direction took off from. Lowering down. There it's asking us. Okay, so if I tap this stick down right now, tap it or hold it, it's gonna initiate auto landing, just like that. Now push up on the stick. Just like that, I just tapped up on the stick. Now it just hovered. So if you wanna land it controlled and actually literally land it manually, you have to initiate the sequence by pushing down and then stop the sequence by pushing back up and then it'll just hover. And now I can just bring it down really, really slowly. There you see, I'm just tapping it down, nice and slow, moving it where I want to. This is how we land these drones on the trailer, is by canceling the, uh, the automatic landing sequence. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to actually pause the video, come back to you, and we're gonna have the drone connected to RTK. Okay guys, here right here we are connected to RTK now before we're on GNSS. So now we're gonna go ahead and take off on RTK. Fly the drone away from the home point, and we're going to initiate a return to home sequence. Drone gets to the home point. It's gonna start lowering down and it's gonna keep lowering down all the way to the ground. This is on RTK. Notice we didn't get any message. I didn't click anything. I didn't do anything. It just came all the way down by itself on RTK. This is really, really important dist distinction, especially if you're landing on a trailer. Now, the reason it does this is because, you know, the it can get very precise with the, with the camera um, and regular GNSS, uh, but it can't get it precise enough, or at least the, it can, the system won't allow it to land by itself on GNSS because of the precision factor. RTK has a much, much higher precision factor. And so that's why it comes down automatically because it has a really high percentage, uh, a really low percentage of error, error of being off target. But I'm gonna show you something a bit different. So I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna bring it back here and I'll show you how the RTK reacts to trying to cancel that automatic landing. All right, this is on RTK, initiating return to home. Remember last time on GNSS, to cancel automatic landing, we just pushed up on the stick and that canceled automatic landing. So here, I'm gonna let it go ahead and start trying to land, start, start landing sequence, push up on the stick. Oh, what's happening? It's not canceling. It wants to keep coming down. 
This is on RTK, I remember now. So if you're trying to land on a trailer and you're on RTK and you want to land very softly, you cannot cancel return to home whenever it's on RTK. Uh, you can cancel return to home before it gets to you, but not when it's there. So if you want to land softly on RTK, on a trailer, just feather this left stick up just like I'm doing here. I'm feathering it up. Whenever I let go of the left stick, it comes down. And then, you know, you can move it wherever you want to, let go, and it'll come down. It'll touch down softly on RTK, but it just will not let you control that descent on your own. All right, now we're gonna show you how to land on a trailer with the return to home sequence and how that differs from you know, landing in a field or on the side of the road. So we're gonna go ahead and take off, have the drone come towards us, and then try to get the drone uh, to where we want it to be on the trailer. Our return to home sequence initiating right now. Now notice we're on GNSS, so our accuracy is not super precise. So it's actually wanting to land over there on the side of the trailer. Now it's not that big a deal because again, it does ask us to land it ourselves. So that's fine, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna back it up, turn it a bit, we're gonna to try to get a bit closer. We're gonna bring it down slowly, and then back up. There we go, we've initiated the manual landing sequence now. So now we're just hovering full manual mode. But I wanna get closer. Now look, I'm pushing left on the stick, so left is towards us. It's not allowing us to go left because of the radar. I can't, it's just barely going. So if you do want, need to get any closer, just be very careful when you do this. Tap on your radar and tap uh, horizontal obstacle avoidance, turn that off. And then now, very carefully, see, we can actually bring it closer towards us. Be very careful when you do this because if you're standing in front of the drone, it will not stop. But it is very useful for landing on a trailer, especially when you have a platform that may be, you know, just a few feet from the drone. And notice whenever we take back off, I'll go ahead and take it off and hover it. Radar is still off. Whenever we power cycle the drone, the radar will turn back on. So I'll show you that sequence right now. Power down and power back up. So there we go, we're booted up. We already have our G GPS signal right there. And you see right here, there's no red around the radar. It's back on. So as long as you swap batteries, it'll turn back on. If you do not swap batteries and take off, this will be red, just like that, around the, around the circle, and that'll be off. So make sure you turn that back on if you're not swapping batteries and you're taking it back off again. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks.